Welcome to Getting Started with Amazon Red Shirt. I'm Harshita Patel, a Principal Analytics Specialist Solution Architect at AWS. In this demo, we will create Amazon Redshift Data Warehouse and use Query Editor version 2 to analyze the ticket's data. To launch the Redshift cluster, you can click on Get Started with Redshift. If you are already logged on to your AWS account, this will take you to Amazon Redshift landing page on the console. You can either get started by creating Amazon Redshift serverless endpoint or create a provisioned cluster. Let's click on Create Cluster. We'll first give a cluster identifier. We'll call it Redshift Cluster Demo. You can get started by creating or using a free trial, which provides you DC to large, or click on Production, where it provides you options to select from the different instance type. For this demo, we will use RA3, which provides you separation of compute and storage. We'll click on Load Sample Data. This is going to load the tickets data, which includes the activity of users buying and selling the tickets online for sporting events. We'll click on Auto Generate Password. You can choose to select the default IAM role, or you can also use your own IAM role that you have uh, created. We'll select the defaults, but you can choose to customize and specify your own VPC subnet group security group. Let's create the cluster. With this, it's going to create the Redshift cluster, as well as once the cluster is created, it's going to load the sample data. And we will, as soon as the cluster is created, we'll start analyzing this data using Query Editor version 2. Now the cluster is created with preloaded data. If you are using any SQL client of your choice or using any visualization products such as Power BI or Tableau, you can download the driver. And you can also select the JDBC or ODBC URL, one which you need to connect to this cluster. For the purposes of this demo, we are going to jumpstart using Query Editor version 2. With Query Editor version 2, on the left-hand side, it's going to list all the clusters provision or serverless. First, we'll connect it using temporary credentials. We'll save this. And to navigate through the databases, schemas, views, tables, store procedure, or function. And this is listing all the five dimensions and the two fact tables which are loaded. We'll click on category to view the table definition, as well as to view the sample data. We'll run this query, and this displays in the grid format the output. To further visualize the data or analyze the data, in order to identify top five sellers in San Diego, we can run this query, which displays the output. And the same output can also be viewed using charts. Query Editor comes with a chart and will enable the chart option. And we are seeing here the line chart where Julie is among the top five sellers in San Diego. You can choose different chart options. We'll collapse the view. Query Editor also comes with sample data dev. If you want to load any of this data, whether it's ticket, TPCH, or TPCDS, you select the sample database option and click Create. With this, it's loading the ticket's data. And if you choose the option of TPCH or TPCDS, it does the same. It also comes with built-in notebook with SQL. In this, we are going to run all the queries, and it's going to execute the queries and display the output in the grid format. Please share us your experience with Amazon Redshift as well as Query Editor version 2. Enjoy. Thank you.